Welcome to Scratch Coding. With Scratch, you can create your own stories, puzzles, games, and whatever else you want to create. You're in control of everything in the programs that you write. We're going to make this quick, easy game today. Once you get Red jumping, you have to catch him or he's going to splat on the ground. And it'll keep track of the score how many times you catch him. Let's create a new project. Delete Scratch Cat. Let's pick a background. I'm going to stick with this space one. I like that one. Now we need a sprite. I'm not going to choose a sprite. I want to upload a sprite. So I'm going to pick red and then I need to add more costumes for him. So it'll look better when he's jumping. We need him to be smaller. It's probably a good size. We need to set how high up he is. Let's do that in the code so it'll stay right. Set the size to 50%. Set Y to minus 40. He's going to be jumping on the trampoline all over the place. His X is going to change how far left and right he is. His Y is going to change when he jumps. So let's let's do the code first for just making him jump. You have to have that in a loop. I did a whole video on how to jump. But basically, your character starts off going fast and then slows down. And then he speeds back up as he comes down. Up and down is the Y axis. So we'll need a variable for that change in Y. You'll see later that we're going to need a variable for the change in X too. And we'll also need a variable to keep score. So let's go ahead and make all of those variables. Okay, we're dealing with Y right now because that's jumping. The change in Y is going to start off at 15, but as he jumps up, it's going to get smaller and smaller. The Y is going to change less to make it look like he's jumping up. So within this loop, we're going to change our Y change by negative one every time so that he'll jump slower. And we're going to change Y by Y change. Let's see if that works. See how he goes faster at the beginning of his jump? Once he starts bouncing on that trampoline, you can't stop. And so let's put that in a forever loop. I'm going to duplicate this because we need one more right there. To make him go back to where he started. Now instead of just being stiff leg like that, this is where we get to use the costumes. Costumes are in the looks. He's going to start off as standing. And he's going to end up as standing. But in the middle here, he changes costumes. All right, now we got to make him randomly go to the left or the right. X changes zero to start with. And inside this loop, we're going to change our X by X change, which right now is zero, doesn't do anything. But we want to set X change to a random number. 
Let's get a random number underneath our operators. And he could go to the left or to the right. Let's do to the left by 5 minus 5 or to the right by 5. Let's see if that's enough. That's perfect. Now we just need to make him do that on a trampoline. Let's choose a sprite because they already have a trampoline in here. Let's see if 50% is a good size for the trampoline. It is, so we'll go to the code and set it at 50% so it'll stay that way. We'll get the trampoline to start in the middle in the x-axis and a little bit lower on the y-axis so he'll be under red. We're going to need a forever loop so that forever we'll be able to control it going left and right. So there's different ways we can make it move left and right. One way you could say when like the left arrow and the right arrows hit, it moves left and right. But I think I want to make it follow the mouse pointer. And then that would work with the touchpad as well. So I'm going to make it point towards the mouse pointer. And if the mouse is on this side of the trampoline, the trampoline will move right. And if the mouse is on this side of the trampoline, the trampoline will go left. So it'll just move left and right. So I need a if it's over here, then do something else. If it's over here, do something in the controls. So not just an if then, but an if then else. I'm just going to grab some stuff that I need. I'm going to need to know if the mouse is to the right of the trampoline. So I need a greater than. Under the motion blocks, I need to know what the trampoline's X position is. I need a couple of those. And then the mouse position, that's under the sensing blocks. So we're going to need a couple of mouse's X position. So if the mouse's X is over here, So the mouse's X is greater than the X position of the trampoline. Then the trampoline's X position is going to move to the right. All right let's grab the less than. We need another if. If the mouse's X position is to the left of the trampoline's X position, then it'll move to the left. So we'll do minus 7 and put it in our forever loop. So we have two problems. Rotation style needs to be set. We don't want it to rotate. We don't even want it to be set to left, right, because that's going to. It's going to make it change directions. So we just don't want it to rotate at all. The other problem is the trampoline is always moving left or right. Whenever the mouse pointer is right in the middle, we don't want the trampoline to move. So let's take these out and replace them with another operation. Just plus and minus 5 so that if it's right in the middle there, it won't do anything. So we fixed those two problems. It doesn't rotate anymore, and it doesn't move whenever the mouse is in the middle of the trampoline. Let's make the code start when the green flag is clicked.
Now we need red to start jumping whenever we bump him with the trampoline. So when the green flag's clicked, we're going to set his size, make sure he's in the standing costume. When the game's first started, we need to set the score to zero. I want him to point to the left, so he'll point in direction negative 90. Okay, that's not exactly what I wanted. Let's set his rotation style to. But we can leave his left right. All right, that looks good. So I don't want him to start until he touches the trampoline. Let's get it if. And we're going to sense that we're touching the trampoline. We need him to go to a good starting position so that we can hit him with the trampoline. That's a blue motion block. Go to a particular XY position. We'll do 90 minus 75. So now if we touch him with the trampoline, he jumps. All right, we want him to be in front of the trampoline. So we'll tell him to go to the front layer. So after he touches the trampoline, if he's, if he gets to the bottom of this jump and he's not touching the trampoline, then he's going to get squished. We need a control block. If then, if he's not touching trampoline. I'm going to change the looks to change his costume. First to dead, and then to dead four. Is that the right order? Yeah. Let's put a little time in between there. Let's go faster than that, 0.04. Let's drag it right down here at the bottom of this loop. Oh no, when the game starts, he's already touching the trampoline. Let's start him off to the left a little bit. We'll make X minus 30 instead of zero. So that he's not touching it when we first start the game. And then we're going to touch him. Then he has to jump. We got to keep catching him every time. And if we don't catch him, he gets squished. Oh, but we get to start the game again. Okay, I see a couple problems. One thing, every time he goes back up, we need a point. So somewhere in the middle of this jump, ooh, no, not in the middle of the jump. So somewhere after the jump, we're going to give him one extra point. Another problem I see is it doesn't end. So if he's not touching the trampoline, once it shows the dead sprite, then we need to end the script. All right, we're getting points. And we can't move anymore. That works. Let's get rid of these variables. 
uncheck that so we just see the score up there score went back to zero that's good we can make him smaller let's do that red's kind of big besides that it looks pretty good All right, what an easy, fun little project. If you enjoyed the video and you like my projects, hit the like button and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.